Welcome, Leo. Alrighty, before we get going, I just want to make a quick announcement. I'm going to do it at the beginning of all my videos uh, for today. So I just wanted to thank everybody so much for these past couple months. Um, all my subscribers, you guys have been great. You've been um, so supportive and leaving awesome comments. I just want to let you know that I want to do something to give back to you. Um, so at the end of this week, I'm going to be giving away a free private read. Uh, so what I need from you is if this is something that you're interested in, please leave a comment at the end of one of the videos throughout this week. I'm going to be uh, taking everybody's names down and on Friday I will choose somebody at random and I will announce that lucky subscriber's name um, at the beginning of my videos, each and every one of my videos on Friday. Uh, so make sure to watch if it's something that you entered um, and then that person will have to get a hold of me through my Gmail account and we will set up um, a private read. All the information will be on my about page as well. Uh, my Gmail account is there too. Uh, and then I will do that read for them on Saturday. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll see what you, Mama Universe has to say to you guys today. Alright, so Mama, what do you got for us? What messages do you have for Leo today? Do you have some guidance? Some advice? <laughs> I feel like they're all starting to pop out of here. So let's see what she's got for you guys. So we have obstacles and challenges, financial and material changes. I have new beginnings and the crown chakra, uh, which represents your spirituality. I also have rejoice and celebration. So I see beautiful, wonderful new things coming your way. So let's see what we got. Oh, destiny, disruption, conflict and defeat, material harvest, temptation. So I feel like we're going to be talking about uh, breaking out of an old cycle. I feel like that's where the obstacles and challenges lie. Um, and breaking free of the past and something that's not working for us anymore. I feel like this new beginning is your destined path in life where you will find happiness and celebration. Um, and... I feel like financial success as well is going to be tied into it. Mm. Ooh. Uh, so I have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups can represent um, a feeling of indifference. I feel like that's also where you're at right now. There's nothing, there's not a whole lot about your life that you feel really passionate about. I feel like that's what's also triggering um, this need for change and disrupting the cycle, finding that fulfillment. I have the Knight of Wands. Um, immediately when I pulled that card, I saw the word move. I feel like you're speaking to moving. I feel like you're looking to move. Um, I don't know if it's just houses or if you're looking to move cities, states, provinces, countries. I feel like you're looking to make a big old change in your life. Um, I feel like it's going to work out for you in more than a few ways because what I have here is the Queen of Cups next to the King of Cups. And then I have the Ten of Pentacles, which speaks of wealth. So all I see is this move bringing you some wonderful, wonderful changes in your life. Um, I feel like you're going to meet somebody very special. I feel like it's going to bring that financial success as well. I have the seven of swords here and the seven of swords can speak of a situation which we feel is unfair. I feel like it's tied into, I feel like it's tied into the four of cups. It's tied into the obstacles and challenges. Um, but I don't feel like it's a, a physical challenge. I feel like this is an emotional thing. Um, this feeling of unfairness and just not being happy or satisfied with where you are or where you're at right now in life and looking for, Looking for an opportunity, looking to make this move. I have the hanging man. The hanging man uh, represents the only thing that can hold you back from success is you. I feel like it's definitely speaking to, is speaking to these emotions and giving into these emotions, allowing yourself to just get stuck stewing in them, instead of making the choice to do something about it and to make a change. And I feel like. I feel like you are going to make a change. I feel like you're not going to allow these emotions to drag you down. I have the chariot card. To me, the chariot card 
is all about forward positive progress. It's it's that perseverance. It's the universe encouraging you to move forward and make positive changes in your life. I have the star card, which represents hope and clarity. So that clarity to me, I feel like it's tied into the seven of swords to the four of cups here, um, into the hanging man and not allowing this to hold you back from success in life. I feel like part of you knows that. I feel like this is a clarity uh, that you're capable of finding on your own this aha moment, I think it's also going to give you the drive and the ambition to move forward. I have the sun card here, which represents positive things manifesting for you in your life. I feel like this sun card comes along with the choice to change. So I have the two of wands. The two of wands represents choosing a path. So and choosing which way you want to go in life. I feel like he ties into that, that knight of wands, whether you're going to choose to move or not, uh, how big of a, of a change you want to make in your life, what you want your journey to look like. I have the temperance card, which represents a balance between emotion and logic. I feel like it's important to use both of those aspects in making this choice, doing something that's going to be fulfilling for you. Um, something that you can feel really passionate about, but also something that's going to look after the practical sides of things and, and make the money to provide you with a life. I have the justice card. To me, the justice card is about balance and bringing a balance back into your life that I feel like you are lacking in your current situation and that you're really looking for. Um, I have this Knight of Swords, which speaks to being true to yourself and of finding success and triumph in that truth. Uh, the Eight of Cups represents a bright new journey forward. So I see, I see choice and making this change, choosing to make this change, moving in a positive direction in your life. I see it bringing success. I have the Seven of Cups, which represents having many options, weighing your options carefully. I feel it's tied into the Two of Swords and this, I don't really want to call it indecision, um, but this so weighing, weighing your options with choosing a path. Uh, and, and the two of swords can also speak of, of taking a step back from your situation um, and reflecting on it from a different point of view to help find the clarity that you need in making that choice. I feel like that ties into the temperance card as well. I have the high priestess here and the high priestess speaks of your intuition and trusting your intuition trusting that spiritual side of you. And then I have the King of Swords. And I feel like the King of Swords is speaking uh, to the other end of the Temperance Cup um, and using using logic and looking at the facts. Uh, so being able to, to balance both aspects to help you choose and then having the strength to go ahead and make that choice. Because I feel like it is a big choice. It is a big change. Um, and it's probably, it can probably be pretty scary. King of Wands, uh, the King of Wands, ooh, it's about passion, um, being ambitious, he's driven. I feel like finding this clarity, I feel like this is where you're going to find your passion and your drive for this change. I have the Hierophant, which speaks to a higher learning. To me, it's that insight and that clarity that you're going to gain that's going to give you that passion and that drive. Um, I have the death card here and the death card represents transition. So closing the door on one chapter of your life and beginning a new one. So definitely tied into that new beginnings and moving forward, starting this new journey, leaving the past behind. I feel like the six of cups is speaking to, I have the three of pentacles, which speaks to starting to see the fruits of your labor. So I feel like once you start making these positive changes in your life, I feel like the opportunities are going to come quite quickly uh, and everything is going to fall into place for you because I feel like it's just meant to be this is your destined path in life this choice that you're about to make so I have the three of swords here uh, the three of swords can represent heartbreak to me in this read it's speaking to separating yourself um, separating yourself from doubts from fears um, from the past and moving forward. I have the Eight of Pentacles, which speaks of learning as well. 
I feel like these two are tied together in learning learning lessons from your past and then being able to to learn how to cut the negative out of your life how to separate yourself from your past and move forward I have the page of Pentacles which represents good news on the way and that of a financial nature I feel like it's speaking to an opportunity I feel like once you choose your path once you found that clarity um, you found that drive that ambition you've decided that exactly where you want to go in life I feel like right away this opportunity for just that thing is going to pop into your life and it's just going to easily lead you on this direction where you're going to find this ten of cups this happiness and abundance in the home life you're going to find this king to your queen you're going to find this ten of pentacles this wealth i feel like everything is just going to fall into place um and just help you along this journey and i got spiritual union here and i feel like this definitely ties into that king and that queen connection finding your soulmate the base chakra which represents money i feel like that's the wealth that's going to come your way i have mental conflict and discontent and boredom into me these are all about this discontent and boredom it is your old life is being unsatisfied with it and the mental conflict uh, speaks to this this process of choosing this new future and being able to overcome that uh, being able to find that insight to find that thing that's going to drive you and choose this path and then all the good will just follow along with that alrighty guys that's what the card said to me today I hope that you enjoyed the read and remember if you're interested in being considered for the free reading uh, you have to be a subscriber so feel free to subscribe and leave a comment in the video so that I can add your name um, into the bucket alrighty guys take care